A joint team of the Delhi and Bihar police have tracked down the second accused in the rape of the five-year-old in the capital last Friday. Pradeep, the second accused, was picked up from Lucky Sarai in Bihar. The police are looking at confronting the two accused and if the allegations are found to be true, they will be charged with gang rape. There were, of course, protests in the capital yesterday over the brutal rape and assault of the little girl who is currently recovering at Ames. Hundreds of protesters descended at police headquarters and Congress Chief Chief Sonia Gandhi's residence last evening raising slogans and demanding that the police commissioner Neeraj Kumar be removed. Workers of BJP's women's wing were detained from near Gandhi's residence as they broke down barricades to move forward. So the gatherings are not as big as they were after the December 16th gang rape of the physiotherapy student. The anger among the protesters continues to be the same at the police headquarters. Scores of AAP members staged protests demanding the removal of the police commissioner as well as well as the arrest of the policemen who were allegedly lax in dealing with the case of the girl. Let's go over to NDTV, Sonal Mehrotra, who joins us on the phone line for more on the story. Sonal, there was first no real surety whether there was more than one person involved in the rape of this little girl. After the second person was named, now he has been picked up. The big question is now going to be the framing of the charges against these two people. That's right, Kajori. Manoj, who's the mean accused in the case and was caught a little uh, days earlier by the Delhi police, he had alleged... And during the time of his interrogation, that Pradeep, his another fellow friend from the same district, Bihar, was also his partner in crime in this entire horrific case. Now, police were first not really taking Manoj's allegations very seriously, but late last night, uh, due to more revelations by Manoj and perhaps more details uh, grabbed by Delhi police, they have now made um, Pradeep a second accused in the case, and he has been taken on a transit from Bihar and brought to New Delhi. Now, while he's being brought to New Delhi and once he does reach here, police will be looking into confronting both the accused on the table, trying to piece together what really happened that day, who instigated the crime. Also, what this really means is now it will not just be a case of rape, but a case of gang rape against of the five-year-old girl. Uh, you know, Kajori, as these, all these details are emerging, it's just really nauseating and perhaps really disturbing to now come to terms with the fact that it's, not, it's just a five-year-old girl and two men actually performed the horrific crime on her. However, uh, the involvement of Pradeep, I must clarify, is still an allegation by Manoj and police will be looking into further details into the case to try and uh, book both these men for this horrific crime. Right, Sonal, also uh, very quickly take us over the kind of anger and outrage that we've been seeing over the weekend ever since the story of this little girl actually hit the headlines. People across uh, the city, in fact across uh, various parts of the country have been very, very angry and we've seen that boil onto the streets. Well, we've seen people come out on the streets and perhaps in the Delhi gang rape case and this as well, giving out a message to the pe uh, government that perhaps this will not be tolerated anymore. And this time around, as the news of the five-year-old girl broke, uh, yesterday at least, massive protests were seen. I was at, uh, at the ITO square yesterday where we saw massive protests and ITO, which is one of the major junctions of the national capital, that was blocked from five in the uh, evening till around 10, 30, 11 in the night. A major junction captured all over in a human chain by students who were demanding the ouster of the Delhi Commissioner Neeraj Kumar. And also a criminal proceeding against the erring officer who had been caught on camera slapping them. Before that, Aam Aadmi Party workers had also uh, walked up to the gates of PHQ as they did the day before as well, de making similar demands. Uh, this time around, as um, Aadmi Party kind of made their uh, voice really heard, BJP was no far behind. The Mahila Morcha walked up to the gates of 10 Janpad towards the Sonia Gandhi's residence, demanding and not just uh, the Delhi Chief Minister be ousted and his, uh, uh, he suspended, but they were also right. demanding on a very major issue, which is death penalty for any accused in the case of a child crime. That has been a demand for coming from Sushma Swaraj and we are also hoping Kajori as the parliament sets into session today. Uh, we are hearing news is that Sushma Swaraj will be expecting, uh, will be asking the government to call for an all-party meeting to meet up on the matter right. and perhaps come up to a resolution which asks for stricter law, especially when it comes to uh, crimes against children.
Thank you for joining us with that report. Uh, that was Sunil Mehrotra there uh, reporting on the latest developments in the case itself, the arrest which has taken place in uh, the second arrest in the rape of the five-year-old girl in the capital as well as of course the public outrage and protests we've been seeing surrounding this case.